Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair. Have you ever heard a company called Minitool? Well, Minitool has some cool software, like one that I've used for many times is Partition Manager or Data Recovery, but they also have other programs like Backup Software, Media Toolkit, and also another one called like uh, Mobile Recovery. But a recent one that, got rec that has been updated is one called Movie Maker Free. Well, they have a brand new video editing software that can create and edit videos in Windows operating system. It has a built-in and smart movie templates with the rich video editing features. And the main cool thing about it is that it's free, clean, no bundle, and no watermarks at all. So on this video, I'll be showing you how to download one of the new features from Mini Tools called Movie Maker Free 2.3. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you do is pretty much go to a website. I'm going to go ahead and just go to google.com. And once we get to there, we're just going to go ahead. We can actually can search this, but I'm just going to give you their straight site. So you're going to go ahead and type in moviemaker.minitool.com. And it takes us to this location. And it tells us it's a free video speed controller that's easy to speed up videos, slow down videos, reverse videos, select speed of your videos from... 0.01x to 50 times and reserve it if you want. It is free movie maker tool so easy to use that you can make movies easily even if you don't even have experience for video editing. So that is actually freaking pretty cool. It's showing an example like this in regular mode. This is in five times. This is in 0 0.05. You can go reverse going back up. Let's go to five times reverse. Oh, there we go, showing examples about us. It tells you a little bit more information that has realistic video gallery, mom and dad, has other details. You can probably go into more details and read more about it. And it's telling it's an easy create video in minutes. It looks pretty simple. I like this for literally for free. From other ones, they had to pay for like Adobe software or like Camtasia, some pretty, or Sony, pretty expensive ones. This is a free one for you. So let's go ahead and download this program. And it's taking us to a redirect site from the Soft Onyx. So let's go ahead and select that. And here it is. You'll select the free download. And let's see if it comes up. Oh, there it is on the left down corner. It's coming, downloading right now. So let's see once it's complete. All right, so it's done downloading. So let's go ahead and click this file. And you'll probably be prompted like this, so go ahead and press yes. And for the time being, I'm just going to go ahead and exit the website because I don't need it anymore. Tells you if you have read the accept the information for pretty much EULA or the privacy policy, go ahead and leave it as is. And I'm going to go ahead and press the install now. It's probably going to need to download the additional files that's needed for this program, so give it a little time depending where you're at. It shouldn't be too much major on this. Right now it tells me it was about like 12 megabytes or so, so we'll find out. All right, so the download has already been completed on there. It downloaded pretty quick. And now it's in process of the installation. Right, it's almost done, 100%. Oh, here came up to their site on a feedback. Tells you more information. Thanks for installing Movie Maker. Here's extra cool features like YouTube downloader, mini to a video converter. Pretty cool. Tells you more about it. I'm going to go ahead and just exit out for the time being. And let's go ahead and just open up this program and see what it has. So, the program's loading up. Movie Maker 2. Alrighty, so it's coming up right here on Mini Tools, and it's showing us a pretty much a YouTube video on it. You can go ahead and click it if you want to. Let's see what goes up to. It's about a minute. I'm just going to go ahead and exit out because uh, I don't really need this. You can probably can look it up when you download this program. So right now it's in a very dark mode. Oh, that's a new part right here. Um, it has an option right here on templates right here, export. On these three bars right here, I'm probably going to be able to change this. I think I've heard it before on the skins. So this is a skin right here from being dark skin to light skin. I'm going to choose a light skin to show us a little, probably a little bit clearer on this video. It has some features for export. It has some templates right here. Well, that's actually pretty cool. 
has some for challenge photo albums christmas very cool features has stuff well it tells you all during pace on here for them and let's see full feature mode what would that do i probably went back to the regular self right there pretty cool it has some features called for motions so we want photos or objects to come down left right all different directions turning flips stuff like that pretty much shows all of them right there you can choose the other make it easier based on like zoom or zoom out or pan only you have options to import text here there is a big variety for this this is literally a very similar program that kind of looks like um, Windows Movie Maker if you remember that in the past yeah it has cool features on this so you can put them for text it has effects for pretty much on the videos that can probably be added on there it has transitions so probably when they're transitioning into others like right here you can put them into place so that you can put some text and you can put music in this also adding your video so if I'm correct I think you can probably create photos with this let's go to media right here so yes you can put videos music and pictures in here and you can pretty much import I remember in their first pass they had some stuff before I don't think that wasn't allowing this to slide in there so I'm gonna see we can probably see if we can just slide a photo in there see if I have any photos here also because let's see save photos if not I'm just going to save some photos real quick from a random site let's go ahead and just go to Google oh, it was already going to Google I guess I'll just click that and we're gonna go ahead and just type in art just an example now I'm gonna choose it's just for temporary on this I'm just gonna select a photo save photo and here I'm gonna save it in pictures I'm just gonna choose another lots of video let me just save this other one save picture and I'm just gonna choose another photo save this picture and let's see what happens so I remember in the past on some programs that they don't have the ability just to drag stuff in so we're gonna give this a try right now I'm actually gonna put this half the size probably on the side and here's the other program doesn't go fully but I guess that's somewhat you can do so I'll slide it over and let's go ahead and go to pictures and let's see if we can just drag these in there can we drag them sadly we cannot so that's a downfall let's see if I can just edit this maybe it's only in that title if I choose pictures will let me just drag it there no so the downfall is, is that you would probably have had to import media files so let's see if it'll work like that so I come to here and go to pictures and if I select them would allow to import yes they are so I guess you have to do a different route on this it would probably come to the same point on this oh look they have some music files automatically here they can test here let's see what they sound like so it sounds already here and you can probably add your additional sounds that you want it has the ability to import media files videos I don't currently don't have videos so I have is pretty much as a virtual machine right now so won't really have some with me right now but again it's a very simple program it looks very similar like Windows Movie Maker and I think it should be alright for being a free program later down the road I'll probably make some videos and tutorials of how to actually use this but for the time being you should be good to download and install this program thank you for watching from Helton's Computer Repair and I will see you on the next video Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store. Link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.